And now on to the plastic skis. Here Wes has an amazing amount of the new Fisher RCS carbon lights in both the 810 plus ski and 812 cold ski. Those are the cambers. And then the new Fisher RCS and the plus in the cold. And on to the World Cup, the Atomic World Cup. Classic version of the Red Chia. And then the Rossignol Axiom, classic ski. Over here from Rossignol. And now the uh, Fisher RCS Carbon Light, classic ski. Got a lot of these. Great deal on. On over to the standard RCS. Close out here. We've got this in plus, cold, and S track. And we really love our close out raw signals. We've got a lot of them. We've got C1s, C2s, and C3s. C1s being the best uh, hard track conditions, C3s for twister, C2s right in the middle. And some more of the, uh, got the Solomon the Peak 10. Some more random uh, Solomons here. Thin. People have really been uh, drawn to that ski. Good reputation. Solomon Elite 9 Classic. Good stock of that ski. And on to the super light. This is a waxable version. A little bit I'll show you the waxless version. Another Fisher ski here, the Fisher SCS. Great ski. Favorite amongst high school racers, master racers. A little more durable than the RCS, but a little bit heavier. The Atomic Vasa Race. This is a waxable version. We've also got a waxless version I'll show you in a moment. This is a ski that Norway's really loved and embraced. It's called the Fisher CR. Traditional bell-shaped camber on that ski. The Peak 8 Classic from Solomon. Great price point ski there. Good. Mid-level, just like their skate ski. Got various other skis in here too. Good ski for beginners. The Fisher SC Classic. Now, we'll look at the waxless skis. This is one of my favorites. The Fisher RCS Crown Ski. So this has a waxless. It goes from a single crown to a double crown to a single crown shorter than a traditional no wax ski pattern on there so it doesn't drag well, as much then on to the fisher rcs zero the ski is called the zero for zero centigrade or 32 degrees works best in uh, fresh snow and just has a two-part base here so you can abrade or rough up the bottom, get hairy. The ski is designed for hairy skiing. On to another ski just like that, the Atomic World Cup Malte. And this has another similar two-part base system where the center is designed to be abraded, roughed up for hairies. blue version of that same multi from Atomic. 
great value there to close out for you all. And right over to the Fisher RCR Vasa Crown. Vasa Crown, much like the RCS, goes from a single crown to a double crown and a little shorter pattern than some of the touring wax skis. So again, a good racing level waxless ski. A little heavier than the RCS. The Atomic Vasa Race, another model of a waxless ski, has the G2 waxless pattern here and works very well. Yet more Vasa race in that waxless with the G2 pattern. And then we move on to the Mover 48 from Atomic. Now this one is a ski that's going to be wider than a racing ski, but narrow enough to fit into all Groom's tracks. It still allows you the ability to ski out of track a bit a little wider. Good one to have. The Fisher Super Light in a waxless pattern. Great for those off days. Just have the main ski out there waxless. Then we've got a number of other ones here from Salmon. The Drip 5. The Motion 46 from Atomic. Motion 52. Number of other ones here. The Solomon. The Elite 5 here is a great ski. Nice and lightweight. And the Atomic FX9 is a great ski. A little shorter, a little wider, carry the uh, weight and distribute it differently than a traditional long ski. A lot of people love that. Kind of wraps up our waxless skis. Thanks for joining us today. And next we'll check out the back room.